On Friday, October 22nd, a march and teach-in for Bradley Manning, WikiLeaks, and Julian Assange was held on the steps of the New York Public Library in Midtown Manhattan. Independent journalist Alexa O'Brien, writer Chase Madar, and others spoke to the assembled crowd. Manning is being charged with aiding the enemy, wrongfully causing intelligence to be published on the internet, theft of public records, and transmitting defense information. He could be sentenced to life in prison if convicted. You cannot attribute a single casualty, whether civilian or military, to WikiLeaks. Those journalists who have done their jobs and followed up with the Pentagon have, have been told that there is no credible evidence of anyone being killed because of WikiLeaks. Uh, nor have any foreign civilians who have worked with the State Department been harmed. Instead, we have a much clearer picture of how our foreign per policy is working and how it's not working. What the hell is so wrong with this? Knowing what your government is doing is really not such a bad thing. Making well-informed decisions as a public is really not such a bad thing. I say this not because it's some noble ideal or some high-minded, glorious thing, but because it's a practical idea. When you don't make well-informed decisions, you wind up with disaster. What WikiLeaks and Bradley Manning have allegedly done is pragmatically shown a bright beam of light where we badly need it. Now, the allergic reaction of the media, the intellectuals, the law schools, the nonprofits, and the government to WikiLeaks is very strange, given that it has long been part of our American political tradition to have a modicum of transparency and openness. This is not an idea that Julian Assange thought up two years ago while sitting on a sofa in Australia. It was JFK who said, after all, that the very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. Anyone here remember Woodrow Wilson's 14 points? Well, the very first one of them contains this language. Open covenants of peace, openly arrived at, after which there shall be no private international understandings of any kind, but diplomacy shall proceed always frankly and in the public view. In the public view. And going back to James Madison, a popular government without popular information or the means of acquiring it is but a prologue to a farce or a tragedy or perhaps both. And I think our foreign policy and our statecraft from the, for the past dozen years has been absolutely a tragic farce. You couldn't think of a better definition. And by the way, the James Madison that I just quoted was not Noam Chomsky's teaching assistant in the Summer of Love. He was the fourth president of the United States and the primary author of the U.S. Constitution. It is Yes We Can and his army of zombies, progressives who have sold their soul who could care less about drones, who could care less about Gitmo, who don't care about extrajudicial assassination, that don't care about NDAA, but like Yes We Can because he looks good coming out of the water. And I will close with the following statement from Mercedes Hafer from Las Vegas. Hello, I could not be with you in New York today. They tell me something about travel restrictions. There's a lot of places I can't go these days and people I can't talk to. A few of you are those people I can't talk to. We are the boogeyman bumping onto the government bed at night. It's true they have money and weapons and prisons and intimidation, but we have time and we have passion and skill and nothing left to lose. We have numbers. Someday we will prevail. Change is inevitable like the rising sun and the tide rushing in. They cannot hold us down forever. We will spring free and their secrets will have their day in the sun. The saying does not go, I am anonymous. The saying of that movement, that movement goes, we are anonymous. We are legion. We will not forget we will not forgive because we cannot afford to. Thank you. 
Manning's defense is currently arguing a motion to have his charges dismissed with prejudice due to a lack of a speedy trial. An official protest against secrecy in Manning's trial was lodged recently with the Court of Appeals of the Armed Forces by dozens of media outlets and organizations, including the New York Times, the Associated Press, Dow Jones, CNN, Reuters, the Washington Post, and the New York Daily News. Nevertheless, no major media outlet has a journalist at the ongoing proceedings at Fort Meade in Maryland.